This is a demonstration video of my Akai GX F90 cassette deck. We'll just start out with some playback of a pre-recorded Type 1 cassette. <laughs> I've replaced all the switches in here too because these commonly had an issue with the switches not working. Uh, it also has a new reel motor. Um, it does that has slowed down the fast forward and rewind some. It's around three minutes for one side of a 90 minute cassette now. But you know it's kind of the only motor I could find that would work in this. Uh, playback is good. There's no issues there. So that's kind of just how it is. Uh, it also has the IPLS on this model, which is the like a program locator. I can't remember what it's called, what it stands for, but you turn that on, fast forward or rewind during playback, and it will move forwards or backwards to the the next or the previous track. You can combine that with the repeat and memory functions as well. There's the heads in there. It's got the send dust. Um, GX head, not send us, sorry, the GX head unit. We'll do some recording. So this is my test tape, just a type 1. Now to start out, we'll calibrate this tape. So to do that, switch the monitor, switch to source, and operate the calibration tone. Let's turn that down. Change your input selector to so you get zero on your meter then start recording switch to tape and then we'll adjust these small potentiometers here until we read zero on the meters like so so the deck is now calibrated for that tape. We and switch your calibration tone off before you start recording. Now we do still need to turn our input um, level to match our source. So we'll do that next. Put the deck into record pause mode. We'll start up our source. <laughs> Back that off too. Let's try that. So I've got a lot of speakers stacked up here. The, the very end ones are what is playing here. No subwoofer, just the towers. I'm not sure how good the phone audio is. Um, it should sound okay though, at least for, for the test. We'll listen back to that.
Yeah, I just I forgot to say it has a switchable peak or VU meter display. You can see how it was a lot slower when it was on the peak. I really should have used that when I was adjusting my input level, it would have given me a more accurate response. But I think the recording turned out quite well. We got Dolby as well. I tend not to use that. Adjustable output level for both the what we're listening to here and the headphones, which is quite nice. That's, I guess, the main features there. A nice deck. Very cool unit from Akai, I think. I hope you enjoyed watching that. This deck is for sale at the time this recording is uh, going up, so it'll be on eBay. If you're interested, yeah, check it out there. So, yeah.